Peace and love, family. It's your boy, Sunrise the Divine. Back at you again with some more love and light. How you doing, family? Um, so today, I wanted to talk about the importance of exercise. I think we all know the importance of exercise, but I think it's something a lot of us sometimes ignore or neglect. And so let's just dive deep into it again. See, look behind me. You see that, that lake, how it's constantly flowing? And that waterfall, whatever you want to call it, water spout, is constantly moving. So that means there's electricity in the water. When water is moving, it generates life. And it is alive. And it generates electricity, right? This is what we know. This is what we know. And now, another thing we know is that we ourselves, our own bodies, are made out of 70% water, bare minimum. So, if we're made out of 70% water, then we need to be moving. Because like I just said, moving water is life and electricity. Stagnant water is dead, right? So a lot of our diseases and our, our physical diseases and mental diseases come from the lack of motion and the lack of working this physical body out. There's this like myth that as you grow in years, your body just gets weaker just automatically. And, and that's not true. The thing is, we stop moving. Think about when you're a little kid, how, how active you are, how, how much you're running around how much energy you have and how much you're, you're physically active as a little kid to now. How often do you get out and just go take a walk and hit some yoga? Or how often do you work out every day? You should, you should dedicate at least one hour out of the 24 hour days to getting that physical body moving. And that's just the bare minimum of one hour. Whether that be yoga, hitting the gym, push up, exercise, cardio, go playing some sports. You got to get these muscles moving because it generates a lot of life force energy inside of you. It'll extend your lifespan. It'll create optimal health. It'll help you. It'll help you mentally. I think that's another I think that's another thing that we don't think about a lot is a lot of us that are facing mental mental diseases you know, such as depression, anxiety, all of this stuff can be, um, I don't want to say cured, but it can be greatly helped from exercise. You, you feel me? Like, and if you don't believe me, next time you feel down in the dumps, go run a mile and a half and then do some squats and see how you feel after that. You know what I mean? It's just very important to stay in motion. It's very important. And not only does it, does it, does it help you physically and mentally, it helps you spiritually. Because you need a strong body in order to cultivate a strong spirit. Let me reword that. You don't need a strong body. But getting your body strong will only enhance your spirit because as above so below as within so without you feel me the outside is just a, a inside the outside is just a projection of what's already inside so it'll help you build discipline it'll help you with your with, with, with it'll just help you so much but it really will help you with your strong with your spirit and your willpower so this is just a message encouraging you to move. It don't matter how you move, whatever you can move. This is for everybody. You can move something. And if you if you in a full body cast and can't move nothing, <laughs> they've done studies where you can do mental exercises too and your muscles will still get I think like 60 to 70% of the benefits. Yeah, they've done research studies where they've had people visualize themselves and meditate themselves on, 
on a workout routine and their muscles will get the benefits. That's just another power of the mind. And you can look that up yourself. But this is just an encourage to get out there and get active. You're not too old. You're not too young. You're not too nothing. You can do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. You got this. Yoga, stretching, anything. I'm right here with you. I love and light y'all. Y'all have a great now moment. Peace.